Welcome to Tony's Flies. Today I'm going to be tying a woolly worm. This woolly worm uh, resembles one of the worms around my house. Uh, it's a caterpillar. I don't know what uh, butterfly it turns into, but I'm going to be tying it. First you want to start off with, I'm using this brown chenille. Uh, you can use black if you like. I prefer you use black since that would be the right color to use but I'm going to use this brown it's an earth tone brown uh, and the reason why I'm using it is because I want these woolly worms have like uh, their, their skin is black but in areas where it folds it's brown so I'm going to take my sharpie and I'm going to go over this a little bit with my sharpie kind of make it the outside black a little bit just kind of darken it up that's probably good enough we got this all darkened up a little bit um, before I wrap this around I'm going to tie in, I've got two brown hackles here um, th those go in the middle I've got two black ones here um, what you can do is at the end here you see this you take your thumb and your finger and pinch where you want it at and pull makes that strip there makes it a little easier to tie in and bring my thread back now you want to start right at the bend of the hook you don't want to go past the bend of the hook now I'm putting two back here if you look real close you can see this fluffy you don't want that on there take that off now that we got our feather the way we like it go ahead and tie in your other feather here try not to get it get too much uh, too much thread right there, you don't want it too fat. Now that we got our feathers tied on, we can take our chenille and we can start to wrap it. Now, get to a certain point, which is about the middle. That's probably good right there. I'm going to tie this in right here and I'm going to show you why. Just a couple wraps and do. Set that to the side. Take your black hackles and wrap these real close together because these guys are they are hairy. So wrap the, your make your wraps really really close. Okay, once you get to where you tied in your chenille tie in your feathers just a couple wraps and do two or three trim your feathers not your chenille and then grab your thread pull your chenille back grab your brown feathers your brown hackle feathers and tie in your brown hackle feathers in the middle bring your thread up 
wrap your chenille again um, when you wrap your chenille when you start to wrap your chenille bring it back just a little to uh, start again bring it up to about there because the brown section uh, is not that is not that uh, not that wide so put a couple of wraps around your chenille again because you want it to stay tight take your brown hackle wrap your brown hackle real close together and once you get it to where you tied in your chenille tie it off tie off your feathers just a couple of wraps will do Clip your feathers, not your chenille. And now I need two more black feathers that I had forgotten to get. Um, I'm trying to find some that doesn't have a, a real wide base. I mean, you don't really need a super long feather. but I just don't really want a real wide base although these uh, these woolly bug these woolly worms have their fur is kinda long I, well I don't know what to call it I don't know if it's fur or what you want to call it but now you want to Move your chenille back if you can. I got that out of my way. Use a soft pinch to tie in your fat, your uh, feather if you have to, or your hackle. And why I keep calling it a feather? It's a hackle, but it is a feather. So, get the second one in there. Run your thread to the front. Get your chenille. Wrap this forward. That's probably good right there. Now, we can trim our chenille. We don't need it anymore. Take your black hackle. And we're going to wrap this. To about there. We're going to make that. Take this. And now since I got a lot of stuff right here at the head of it. I'm just going to make a couple wraps. Uh, for my head, I'm going to take my whip finish and I'm going to finish the head off with that. Oops, we can get those out. There we go. Now, I got some stuff right here in the hook eye, so I'm going to stick that in there, push all that back, and then I'm going to take some head cement and really cement that down. And then trim your thread. And that is the woolly worm. You can see the black, brown, black pattern. That's how it goes. Really easy to tie. Uh, tie a few of these, put them in your uh, tackle box or your uh, your fly box. Whichever you use, I use a tackle box. I got plenty of flies that I take with me. So uh, put it in either one of them, make 10 of them. You'll use them all. They're really good flies. Um, now if you want to 
you can either make it like I did to where it floats or uh, you can make it to where it sinks because these guys are pretty heavy they will sink when they hit the water so um, really uh, bluegill bass even uh, so try it, see if you like it post something on my page if you like it uh, subscribe to my page if you like my uh, if you like my flies um, but it's a good fly thanks for watching